At top a stylized AD logo, text the 2024 Audio Description Awards Gala, presented by American Council of the Blind. Seen from above the New York City skyline, seen from below the looming Empire State Building, a bustling city street corner at Radio City Music Hall, in neon Rainbow Room, Observation Deck, NBC Studios. On a stage at left, a tall woman with short red hair in a floor-length red gown. At right, a woman in a high-waisted spaghetti strap dress with a short puff skirt. She speaks. Good evening and welcome to the fourth annual Audio Description Awards Gala presented by the American Council of the Blind. I'm Allie B. Gorey. And I am Marilee Talkington. And Allie B. and I have known each other for, I believe, six years, is it? Six years, yeah, Marilee. And the reason we know each other is because we're both professional, legally blind actors and artists. This is a and arts educators. Allie points to Marilee. And consultants. Yep. And advocates for accessibility throughout the arts and entertainment sphere. And I remember, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you're one other thing, Allie. Well, one plus many. Oh, stop. But I went to your website six years ago when I first heard about you. Yeah. And it also said you were an optimist. They share a glance. Is that still on there? Yes, Marilee, it is. And it will always be on there. Yes. And it is events and moments like this evening that ignite my optimism. Tonight, mm. we are recognizing leaders in the field of audio description and presenting Barry Awards to these leaders. Now, these awards are named after Barry Cronin, who helped establish audio description for filmed media. And as I said before, both Ali and I are legally blind, which is why audio description is so crucial, not only to us, but to those that actually come and experience our work on stage and screen. And then, of course, the entire blind, low vision community. And I know you're deeply, deeply passionate about accessibility like I am. Yes, Marilee, I really am. And I'm super passionate about something I call 360 degree inclusion. Now, what this looks like is making sure that, yes, folks who are experiencing media like tonight have all the tools they need to have an amazing experience. But there's also inclusion in the crews, mm -hmm. in folks working on sets backstage, and of course, for the artists. Now, I would love the next generation of blind and low vision young people to see themselves all over stage and screen accurately and beautifully represented. Yes. I mean, because I feel I feel proud that we get to do that. We do. It's a gift. It is. We get to razzle dazzle and be center stage. Yeah, we do. You know, I love the razzle dazzle. And, but not everybody wants to be center stage. And that's a beautiful thing. It is. Which is why we're here tonight. Absolutely. Because we have the rare and beautiful opportunity to celebrate individuals, corporations, and organizations that have created audio description and put it out there into the arts and entertainment world. Yes, and we are recognizing these individuals by presenting them with Barry Awards. We'll present these awards in 10 categories, including my personal favorite, <laughs> the People's Choice Awards. And so now here's how the People's Choice Awards works. Okay, you all sent us your favorite series and films with the best, you thought, audio description. And then we narrowed down those selections to five per category and then sent them back to you who voted on our winners. So should I tell them about the finalists? Oh, you bet I'm gonna drum. Okay, all right, thank you, drum roll, please. Allie the, drums at her knees. The finalists in film are Barbie. Produced by Warner Brothers, AD by Deluxe, AD written by Stoney Imschwiller, voice talent Laura Post. Dune 2. Produced by Warner Brothers, AD by Deluxe, AD written by Anusha Vidigari, voice talents William Michael Redman, Laura Post, and Julian Smith. Oppenheimer. Produced by Universal Pictures, AD by Deluxe, AD written by Christina Stevens, voice talent Laura Post. Poor Things. Produced by Searchlight Pictures, AD by Deluxe, AD written by Carol Hall Stutler and Samantha Manahan, voice talent Aaron Mixon. And Society of the Snow. Produced by Netflix, AD by Descriptive Video Works, AD written by David Chan, voice talent Paula Hoffman. Ooh, tell us, tell us about the series, okay. please. The finalists in the series categories are 
all the light we cannot see. Produced by Netflix. AD by IDC. AD written by Liz Gutman. Voice talent, Fern Lullum. A real bug's life. Produced by Disney. AD by Descriptive Video Works. AD written by Jeff Heck. Voice talent, Clement Shaw. Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Produced by Disney. AD by Zoo Digital. AD written by Luke Baldwin. Voice talent, Kelly Brennan. The Regime. Produced by Max. AD by Point360. AD written by Connor DeWolf and Shane Weathers. Voice talent, Dave Wallace. And Star Wars The Bad Batch. Produced by Disney. AD by Descriptive Video Works. AD written by Michael Bradford. Voice talent, Jamie Treacher. Now we're going to be experiencing clips from all of these series and films throughout the evening, so stay tuned, just in case you hadn't experienced them before. And at the very end, that is when we're going to announce Ellie's favorite and yours, the People's Choice Award. So oh, I can hardly wait. Well, then let's get going. Okay, but first, it is so important that we recognize and turn it over to the president of the American Council of the Blind, Deborah Cook Lewis, and the executive director, Scott Thornhill. At left, a woman with short gray hair. At right, a clean-shaven man with close-cropped gray hair. Hello, I'm Deborah Cook Lewis, president of the American Council of the Blind. We're a consumer organization and home of the Audio Description Project. I'm honored to help welcome you to the fourth Audio Description Awards Gala. While our first gala was a great success, we've worked hard to make all the ones that followed bigger and better. This year, we'll be presenting 12 awards. What makes this growing number of awards really exciting is that it means there's more and more great audio description being created every year. Who knows, maybe there will even be more awards in 2025. Good evening. I'm Scott Thornhill, Executive Director of the American Council of the Blind. Since joining the team earlier this year, I've been focused on the many important issues ACB advocates for, like access to healthcare, technology, and transportation. One of the most entertaining initiatives I have gotten to know more about is the Audio Description Project. I mean, I can search the ADP title catalog and look for movies and series with audio description, send hours watching movies, and call it work. Seriously, though, it does take a lot of actual work to write, record, and engineer the exceptional audio description we're honoring tonight. We thank everyone who made this awards gala possible. Enjoy the show. Thank you, Deb and Scott. And now, to present the Barry Award for Audio Description Visionary is someone who's a great friend to ADP and who has dedicated his career to making media more accessible. Matt Kaplowitz, the president of Bridge Multimedia. The 2024 Audio Description Visionary Award goes to someone who has truly transformed the art and science of audio description. This year's recipient has not only written thousands of audio description scripts, but he has also narrated thousands of scripts and trained hundreds of aspiring audio description scriptwriters and voicers around the world. He founded the Audio Description Project and wrote a comprehensive history of and training manual for audio description that has already been translated into seven foreign languages. It is my pleasure and my honor to introduce the 2024 AD Visionary Barry Award recipient, Dr. Joel Snyder. Congratulations, Joel. A.D. Barry Award, A.D. Visionary. Joel is bald with a gray mustache and beard. Thank you, Matt. And thank you so much to the American Council of the Blind and its audio description project for this treasured acknowledgement of over 40 years of work with audio description. I still recall quite vividly my writing and voicing the audio description for three of the first programs ever broadcast on television with audio description, with uh, a good bit of credit, of course, going to Barry Cronin and the folks at WGBH. That was back in 1985. Well, we've come a long way. The establishment of the Audio Description Project in 2010 was a landmark in the development of and advocacy for audio description. ACB and the project were important players in the development of critical legislation, the CVAA, the 21st Century Communications and Video Accessibility Act. And for the first time, you know, 
it mandated the inclusion of audio description for broadcast television. The AD Gala came to be as a way to acknowledge the commitment of the major broadcasters and film studios to accessibility. So bravo to all of the companies being honored tonight. But there's still so much to do. We need to update the CVAA. We need to ensure the pass-through of audio description tracks between media. We need to boost the audio fidelity of audio description tracks. We need to expand the number of secondary audio channels available in broadcast television. Why should viewers need to choose between Spanish translation and audio description? No. And, and we need to increase the inclusion of people who are blind in the production of audio description. And we need to build the quality of audio description writing and voicing by emphasizing the uniquely human characteristics in these disciplines, expanding training in audio description, and developing a certification program for audio description writers. I look forward to continuing to be a part of these visionary efforts, and I thank you again for this important honor. People's Choice Awards nominee clip, series All the Light We Cannot See, produced by Netflix, AD by IDC, AD written by Liz Gutman, voice talent Fern Lullum. Outside, Werner descends the steps from the wall. He passes wounded soldiers as he races toward Etienne's house. In the attic, Marie grabs the gun and aims at the doorway. Von Rumpel climbs the steps on the other side. Werner runs up to the house and careens through the open front door. Von Rumpel looks down. Marie! Where are you? Werner looks up the spiral staircase. Your Uncle Jen sent me! He dodges Von Rumpel's bullet. Marie brings a hand to her ear, straining to hear. Von Rumpel turns back to the attic, catching a glimpse of Marie through the broken door and the smoke beyond. She listens intently as he slowly approaches. She grips the revolver with both hands, aiming ahead. He slowly steps toward her along the glass-strewn floor. He ducks. People's Choice Awards nominee clip, film, Barbie, produced by Warner Brothers, AD by Deluxe, AD written by Stoney Imschwiller, voice talent, Laura Post. Staring across at Pompadour Ken, he strikes theatrical poses. Then his nemesis performs a punching downward dance move. Ken and others do the same move. Then the Pompadour Man mimes shooting an arrow at Ken, who does the same back. Some of the men dance past, leaping and twirling, while Ken and his foes circle each other. The pair Rochambeau's as part of their dance, both producing scissors. They punch at the ground as men around them throw their arms in the air. Then many of the dancers spin gracefully. The central pair shuffle their feet rapidly and separate. The dancers form a giant diamond shape, then circle the two main figures before peeling off one by one in rapid succession until they reveal Ken standing alone. I'm just Ken, anywhere else I'd be Ten, is it my destiny to live and die? Virtual events are amazing because people from all over the world can experience them. But sometimes you want to be in person, like Right now, <laughs> I am in space with not just one, but two incredible advocates and humans. Here, and I mean right here in studio, is Rebecca Alexander, psychotherapist, author, and incredible advocate doing important work at the intersection of disability and mental wellness. She's here to present the Barry Award for Innovation. Thank you, Allie, and thank you, Marilee, for doing an incredible job in hosting these awards. The recipient of the Barry Award for Innovation continues to demonstrate a steadfast commitment to providing an inclusive experience for viewership for all. This year, they broke new ground in video accessibility with the release of support for multiple audio tracks to deliver descriptive audio, multi-language audio, and commentary. Their website even provides guidance for content creators 
to improve the accessibility features of the media they post. Congratulations, Vimeo. AD Barry Award, Innovation, Sam Lyon, Senior Program Manager, Vimeo, with a full dark beard. Hi, I'm Sam from Vimeo. I'm honored to represent our product team to accept the Innovation Award for our audio description feature. At Vimeo, we power video for millions of our customers across the web, representing businesses, marketers, and creative professionals. Audio descriptions make video content more accessible. And at Vimeo, we're passionate about making our creators' content available everywhere. We truly believe in enabling access to these features as part of our core offering to ensure creators have access to the tools they need to make accessible and engaging content. We're excited to hear the amazing ways our users will adopt these features in the future, not just for audio descriptions, but also for translations and director's commentary. Thank you again for this award. We're thrilled to have our work recognized. Vimeo. We are pretty sure the Audio Description Awards Gala is one of the most inclusive and accessible events in the world. Here to tell us more are the co-chairs of the Audio Description Project, Kim Charlson and Carl Richardson. The word accessibility has many definitions, but at its most straightforward, it simply means it is available to everyone. The gala every year strives to increase our access, inclusiveness, and make it available to a much wider audience. This year, the Audio Description Awards Gala is available in English, and thanks to DeCapta in Spanish as well. Vitac has provided captions. Audio Description Associates has created the Audio Description Script. And Bridge Multimedia has produced the ASL interpretation you see in the upper corner of your screen. Because ACB believed in the expression Nothing about us without us. Many people were involved in the creation of the AD Gala. This includes ACB staff, the planning committee, and the wonderful host. We also had the audio description voiced by blind talent, and the sign language interpreter is involved by two members of the deaf community, including the artistic director of sign language and a certified deaf interpreter. We thank everyone who has helped make the Audio Description Awards Gala, so accessible and inclusive. Enjoy the show. Thank you, Carl and Kim. Our next award is the Barry Award for Audio Description Excellence in Gaming. Ross Miner, narrator and accessibility consultant, will be presenting this award to our next recipient. But before we go to Ross, we'd like to take a moment to remember Brandon Cole who presented the first ever gaming award here in 2023 and also passed away earlier this year. Brandon Cole worked with video game developers to make their products more accessible by adding accessibility features such as audio description. And as a blind gamer himself, Brandon knew the importance of full access to the technology and the entertainment that make people's lives not only exciting, but important. Brandon's advocacy, his experience, his expertise, his knowledge, and his enthusiasm will very much be missed. Brandon Cole, 1986 to 2024. Ross Minor, brown hair and mustache. There is no better tribute to Brandon's legacy than the Audio Description Game Award. This year's recipients are being recognized for their stellar work on Marvel's Spider-Man 2. The game delivers superb writing, performance, and mixing. It also provides instant audio description when transitioning from gameplay quick time events to cinematic cutscenes. The AD flows seamlessly as if a user were playing out a sequence in an action movie. Congratulations, Sony Interactive Entertainment and Insomniac Games. AD Barry Award Gaming, Sam Schaffel, Accessibility Design Researcher, Insomniac Games. Hi everyone, my name's Sam Schaffel. I'm an Accessibility Design Researcher for Insomniac Games. I'm 5'7" with long brown hair and brown eyes. I'm wearing glasses and a black t-shirt that says Insomniac Games. I'm here to accept the ACB Barry Award for audio descriptions in gaming for Marvel Spider-Man 2 on behalf of Sony Interactive Entertainment and Insomniac Games. We're so grateful for the love and support this feature has received and we want to thank you all as well as our friends and partners at Marvel, PlayStation Sound, and DVW. Thank you to our writers, Mixers, production, design, project management, UI, audio, research, core, and dev support teams 
as well as everyone else who worked on this feature. We were excited to push audio descriptions forward by including audio descriptions not only for cinematics, but for QuickTime events as well in response to player input. The response from the community has been overwhelmingly positive and has bring much joy to our entire team. Thank you to the American Council of the Blind and of course our fans. This means so much to us and we look forward to what the future has in store for groundbreaking accessibility in this industry. Thank you so much. People's Choice Awards nominee clip, series, The Regime, produced by Max, AD by Point360, AD written by Connor DeWolf and Shane Weathers. Voice talent, Dave Wallace. Hartel, a clean-shaven man in a uniform, kneels with his arms raised. Two other men stand in the doorway with handguns. Herbert inches to them. Stand up. Herbert looks past Hartel, then lowers his gun. What happened to Combs? The rebels have cut all the phone lines, sir. Elena pokes her head out of the doorway, eyes wide. Guards every door. We need guards, you understand? Sir. Laskin, the ministers, where are they? I'll find out. Go. If you stay. Hartel and the other two men leave and shut the door. Hubbard! Listen, they wouldn't touch me. They they just need to see. Listen, listen to me. They hate you and they want to kill you. Yes? Elena gapes. Dozens of people in black tactical gear run through the palace grounds with rifles. Soldiers rush out of an armored truck. Go, 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 go. People's Choice Awards nominee clip, film, Oppenheimer, produced by Universal Pictures, AD by Deluxe, AD written by Christina Stevens, voice talent, Laura Post. In the bunker, Oppenheimer removes his goggles, blinking rapidly and squinting to see the explosion growing into a column of fire that blooms high into the dark sky, taking on a mushroom shape. Seen from over Lawrence's shoulder, the explosion's brilliant light gives off an amber halo around its irregular edges, which, miles away, tinges Oppenheimer's odd face. The roiling flames billow over each other, black smoke starting to form within the inferno. Robbie finally rolls over and peers through his welder's glass at the explosion. The amber glow on Oppenheimer's face dims as the black smoke grows in the flames, which fold over on themselves. Robbie lowers the glass from his eyes as the blackness consumes the remaining flames, leaving behind a ghostly cloud of smoke in the dark. Presenting the Barry Award for Education is Lila Duffy. Lila is the winner of an essay contest for students sponsored by the Audio Description Project and the Described and Captioned Media Program. Take it away, Lila. A young girl with long blonde hair. Grand prize winner, Beatty Essay Contest. The Education Award honors audio description excellence in programming created to inform, instruct, and entertain. High quality audio description provides access to important materials that help children grow and learn. The audio description is vital for young people who are blind or have low vision, and it can also be helpful for students with learning differences and language learners. This year's recipient of the Barry Award for Education has been bringing to life imagination for generations. Congratulations, Fred Rogers Productions. A.D. Barry Award Education Animated Production Excerpts, Alma's Way. ASL, a sign interpreter at bottom right, then English audio description. Bob Dog and Donkey jump with their potatoes. Spanish audio description. Junior sostiene una almohada dorada en donde está el diente. Alma lo ilumina con una linterna. ASL, a sign interpreter at bottom right. Then SAP reflecting Puerto Rican New York characters. Abracitos. A dark haired woman. I'm Erin Dodson, Director of Post-Production at Fred Rogers Productions, and on behalf of my colleagues, I would like to thank the American Council of the Blind for this honor. We strive to create a space where children and families across abilities and languages 
can enjoy and engage with our content. We're delighted to have our work recognized, and we hope that other producers will continue to follow suit and make their content more accessible. I'd like to thank our partners at PBS Kids for making audio description and ASL content available and for supporting public television stations in that endeavor as well. We are so grateful to DeCapta for hosting our content on their All for Access app and DCMP who host our series in their media library. I'd also like to acknowledge and thank our terrific partners at DeCapta who produce the Spanish language audio description and Bridge Multimedia who produce audio description for our series in English. We look forward to continuing our work for years to come. Thank you. I am so excited to announce this. To present the Barry Award for popular entertainment is runner, actor, activist, amazing Shakespeare actor, and my friend, all around popular guy, Mr. E.J. Scott. Where's a cap, glasses, and beard? We all know that accessibility is a marathon, not a sprint. It's an effort that must be sustained over time. I'm not saying that everyone has to literally run a dozen marathons in a year like I did, but you can if you want. The Barry Award for Popular Entertainment goes to a company that has demonstrated an unflagging commitment to audio description by making it available across all platforms and media. And whether you're checking out a DVD with your parents, channel surfing with your friends, or listening on your phone while you go for a run, these guys are there for you. Congratulations, Paramount Global. A.D. Barry Award, Popular Entertainment, a collage of excerpts from Paramount Productions. CBS Tracker, The Shy, Yellowstone, A Quiet Place, Day One, RuPaul's Drag Race, SpongeBob SquarePants, The Daily Show, Tyler Perry's Sisters, Paramount, Mark Turrets, Balding, Clean Shaven. Hello everyone, I'm Mark Turrets, Vice President of Access Services at Paramount Global. On behalf of our entire team at Paramount, I'd like to thank the American Council of the Blind and the Audio Description Project for the great honor of this 2024 Barry Award for Popular Entertainment. 2024 has been another great year for audio description at Paramount. This year, Paramount Global and the Described and Captioned Media Program announced an unprecedented partnership to make hundreds of hours of Nickelodeon's popular content accessible to families with young viewers and students with disabilities. This content will be available on the DCMP's free streaming services on a rolling basis through 2029 and on Paramount's own platforms. At CBS and Paramount Plus, our leadership in the availability of audio description also continued this past year. And our free ad-supported Pluto TV continues to expand the availability of audio described content. Paramount also achieved some live audio description firsts this year, including CBS's inaugural broadcast of the 81st Annual Golden Globe Awards last January with live audio description. Then in March, CBS added first-time live audio description for the 55th Annual NAACP Image Awards, while the BET simulcast of the show was the first-ever live audio described program on BET. In June, the BET Awards feature live audio description for the first time. And the Kids' Choice Awards in July marked the first ever live audio description on Nickelodeon. In closing, I'd like to recognize the many hardworking individual teams at our company for the dedication to and support of accessibility at Paramount Global. Thank you again. A dark-haired woman in a theater. I'm Janet Yang, president of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. I am delighted to be here with you at the 2024 American Council of the Blind Gala. At the Academy, we continue to prioritize accessibility and inclusion in everything we do. As part of this effort, we're proud to have provided live audio description for a third year in a row at the 96th Oscars this past March. Furthermore, we added audio description to the Oscars pre-show. In addition, the Academy Screening Room, our members-only streaming platform, supports audio description at no cost for all films submitted for Oscar consideration. For the 96 Oscars earlier this year, a record number of films were submitted with audio description. 
We're dedicated to increasing industry-wide awareness about audio description and why it's vital for studios to include them as part of their award submissions. Why do we think this is important? Because we believe it is imperative for us to create a sense of belonging for all. At the Oscars and across the film industry, we're only strong when everyone can participate, be inspired, and share their own stories. We know this work is still in progress, and we look forward to continuing to learn from blind and low vision communities as we grow our efforts year after year. We are deeply grateful to the American Council of the Blind for your advocacy, leadership, and dedication. Thank you. Sometimes not seeing is believing. Tonight, we've played clips of the Audio Description People's Choice Award nominees with audio, video, and audio description. Now, we are going to play our next clip with just audio and audio description. No big deal for many of you. But for those of you who have been relying on the video, I think you'll understand just how audio description is so very crucial. People's Choice Awards nominee clip. Film, Poor Things, produced by Searchlight Pictures. ED by Deluxe, AD written by Carol Hostetler and Samantha Manahan. Voice talent, Aaron Mixon. Under a stormy sky, a woman in a Victorian gown stands on a bridge railing, staring down. The wind stirs her blue silk skirt and lifts her dark hair, which is plaited and pinned above her collar. The puffy shoulders of her dress constrict around the arms in neat cascading pleats. Earrings dangle around her pale neck. A river swirls far below her. She leans forward and plunges toward the water in slow motion. The colors fade to black and white. The impact sends waves sloshing, opening up a dark abyss that dissolves to a beating heart. A title appears, Poor Things. In a parlor, a woman with long dark hair streaming down her back sits on a piano bench, her head cocked at an odd angle between the puffy sleeves of her dress. Sunlight glares through a window as she bangs the keyboard. Her dark, spirited eyes flicker over the piano. Fair-skinned with dark eyebrows, she spreads her thin lips and hints at a smile. People's Choice Awards nominee clip, series Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Produced by Disney, AD by Zoo Digital, AD written by Luke Baldwin, voice talent Kelly Brennan. Say hi to your mommy for me. Percy readies his sword, holding it up beside his head. Airy strides confidently toward him. His long black coat flaps as he swings for Percy. Percy ducks, avoiding Ares' blows. He parries until Ares bashes him with the hilt, knocking Percy down. Ares plunges down his sword. Percy blocks. Their weapons push against each other. Ares lifts the boy to his feet. Percy rolls away, avoiding the god's steel. Ares knocks Percy's sword aside and grabs the child. Ares slams Percy into the sand. Grover goes to intervene. Wait. Annabeth pulls him back. Ares towers over Percy, who struggles to lift himself. Ares swings a boot, kicking Percy across the ground. Ares shakes his shoulders and grimaces at Percy. Beyond Percy, off the shoreline, waves begin to pick up. Ares' brow softens as he spots the turbulent water. Percy scowls at him. In honor of one of this year's most exciting competitions, here to present the Barry Award for live events is someone who understands how to perform under pressure. Swimmer Trisha Zorn Hudson is the most successful Paralympic athlete in history. She's won 55 medals, 41 of them gold. A blonde woman. Nothing beats the excitement of a live event, experiencing every moment of suspense, anxiety, hope, triumph, and maybe an occasional disappointment, but not too many though. Over the last few years, real-time events such as the Olympics and Paralympics have become much more accessible through audio description. This year's winner of the Barry Award for Achievement in Live Events has truly led the field setting the gold standard for live audio descriptions. From award shows to talent contests, to parades, to global sports phenomena. Congratulations, NBC Universal. AD Barry Award, live events, a woman with blonde hair and a maroon sweater. Molly Solomon, NBC Olympics and Paralympics production. On behalf of NBC Universal, I'm honored to accept this award. 
At NBCU, we continually strive to advance the Olympic and Paralympic viewing experience, no matter how or where people consume the games. Sharing the excitement of Paris 2024 and connecting fans to the moments that matter most has always been at the forefront of our coverage. This year's Paris Olympic and Paralympic Games had more audio description services than ever before. During the Olympics, coverage on NBC, including daytime, primetime, late night, and the Gold Zone Whip Around show on Peacock, all featured audio description, and all linear and Gold Zone streaming coverage was audio described during the Paralympics. For us, it wasn't only important to expound the amount of audio described coverage, but we wanted to ensure the highest quality, which is why, in a first for a U.S. broadcaster, we provided audio descriptions in stereo sound. None of this would have been possible without the incredibly talented describers and producers working on the Olympics and Paralympics. We heard from ACB members who told us that their descriptions went, quote, beyond just the scores and data, we get the emotions of the moment, and that's priceless, end quote. And hearing things like bronze medal winning gymnast Steven Nedarazic was wearing glasses and looked remarkably like Clark Kent allowed them to partake in water cooler conversations in ways they hadn't been able to before. I want to thank the American Council of the Blind for not only this award, but also for their incredible collaboration as we work to provide the most accurate and in-depth descriptions as possible. I also want to thank our NBC Sports Engineering, Operations, and Audio teams for their dedication to this work. It is so important to NBC Universal to continue increasing the accessibility of its programming, which is why we will continue to provide audio description at other live events, including the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, Christmas at Rockefeller Center, the 4th of July fireworks spectacular, and major award shows. And now, Saturday Night Live, WWE Wrestling, and live episodes of The Voice in America's Got Talent. People love the Olympics, Paralympics, and other live events for what they give us, a shared experience of joy and triumph. And we're so proud to lead the way in ensuring that all viewers get to be a part of that experience. And so we're honored to receive this very special recognition. Thank you. Presenting the Barry Award for Advertising and Promotion is speaker, author, advocate, and content creator, one of my favorite TikTok follows, Molly Burke. In a red off-the-shoulder dress. We all know audio description is vital for access to education and entertainment, but what about information? We all want to know about new and exciting products and the often engaging and imaginative ways companies tell us about them. The recipient of this year's Barry Award for audio description in advertising and promotion goes to a company who continues to demonstrate their commitment to accessibility by providing quality captions and audio description for its content. Including audio description in many of their more than 3,000 annual video releases makes them more inclusive and accessible for all. Congratulations, Microsoft. AD Barry Award, Advertising and Promotion, Takeshi Numoto, Executive Vice President and Chief Marketing Officer, Microsoft. Hi, my name is Takeshi Numoto, and I'm the Chief Marketing Officer here at Microsoft. On behalf of Microsoft, I'm really honored to accept the 2024 American Council for the Blind Barry Award. We are truly grateful for your recognition of our efforts to make the world more inclusive and accessible for everyone. Microsoft's mission is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. And we strive to live up to this mission every day. Within the marketing organization, one of the ways we'll fulfill our mission is by ensuring that the visual media content we produce, whether on demand or live in person, is fully accessible so everyone in attendance enjoy a full and immersive experience. It's really humbling to know that we have positively impacted the blind and low vision communities, and we are truly grateful to be given this award. Our focus on accessibility will remain a top priority for us as we continue to build and bring to market products and services that have the potential to be a positive change for all. Again, on behalf of Microsoft and our accessibility partners who collaborate with us to make our visual media content accessible and impactful for as many communities as possible, we thank you. 
Thank you to our sponsors. Take the lead, Amazon, Microsoft, Netflix, The Walt Disney Company, Warner Brothers, Discovery, Supporting Cast, Fox Corporation, NCTA, The Internet and Television Association, Paramount Global, Spectrum, Vitac, Cameo, National Association of Broadcasters, Survey Monkey. Next, a film excerpt. On Bosch's desk, we see pictures of three missing women. Why do you keep the pictures? To remind me, everybody counts or nobody counts. This is getting good. The most audio described titles, Amazon.com slash accessibility. I'm Janet Ritz, Vice President of Accessibility for Warner Brothers Discovery. I'm in my office where there are framed photographs of some of our iconic films, including Casablanca, which has audio description currently available on Mac. On behalf of Warner Brothers Discovery and my colleagues, I'd like to thank the American Council of the Blind for bringing awareness to the importance of audio description. We are proud to provide audio description on many of our films and television series, including over 8,000 hours of audio described content currently available on our Max platform. I want to thank our Max product team, Warner Brothers Television and Films, our great global content operations team, and our many talented partners for their commitment to audio description and we all thank the American Council of the Blind for what they do to support audio description. Vitac, a verbit company, is proud to provide captions for the 2024 Audio Description Awards Gala. We value our longstanding relationship with the American Council of the Blind and support ACB in its mission to increase the independence, security, and quality of life for all individuals who are blind or visually impaired. Peter Kuchiave has dark hair and a beard and wears dark glasses. Hi, my name is Peter Kuchiave with Spectrum and we are proud supporters of the Audio Description Awards Gala. Access to entertainment is an important topic for us, which is why we made the Spectrum Access app free and available to everyone in the U.S. Be sure to check out the app for descriptions to your favorite movies and shows, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the event. Marilee holds a black cane. So I heard a rumor, Allie, that you don't go anywhere without your tap shoes. Is that true? The rumors are true, because Marilee... You never know when you're going to need a little celebratory dance break. Yeah. Allie dances, swinging Ooh. her arms. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, Steve. Da -da 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 and now back to the show. Their arms outstretched toward us. People's Choice Award nominee clip series, A Real Bug's Life, produced by Disney, AD by Descriptive Video Works, AD written by Jeff Heck, voice talent, Clement Chow. She jumps onto a paintbrush that sits next to an empty soda can. A hairy jumping spider eyes the mantis from inside the can. Watch your back, little mantis. The mantis rises and locks eyes with the spider. A jumping spider twice her size. The spider leaves the can. And very hungry. The mantis flees and climbs a pink can. She has excellent vision, but not as good as his. With four middle eyes that work like telephoto lenses, he pinpoints his target. The mantis's reflection appears in the spider's black eyes. The spider climbs the can and follows the mantis down a discarded paint roller. There's no easy escape. The mantis crawls over a baseball. Jumping spiders are pursuit predators. The spider climbs atop the ball. And with motion detecting side eyes, he follows her every move. People's Choice Awards nominee clip, film Dune 2, produced by Warner Brothers, AD by Deluxe, AD written by Anusha Vadigari, voice talent William Michael Redman, Lauren Post, and Julian Smith. On trigger, on my signal, be ready. Paul hurries off, peering around the corner of the harvester's giant leg. On her side, Chani waits with a weapon on her shoulder. Paul looks toward the harvester's next leg, the area in between lying wide open. Peeking out at the ornithopter from her side of the leg, Chani readies the launcher. Go! Paul runs out into the open. The leg in front starts to move. Oh, shit! The ornithopter's gunner fires down at him, but Paul manages to dive behind the next leg. The gunner swivels back around to Chani to find her lowering her weapon, having already fired a projectile that penetrates the ornithopter's shield. The craft explodes. Chani takes off across the field as the ornithopter's fiery remains rain down nearby. 
Paul joins her. In the distance, Fremen rise from the sand and fire their laser weapons directly at the Harvester. And now to present the very award for Spanish Media USA is my friend and my co-host for the 2023 AD Awards, Dr. Conchita Hernandez. She is an educator of people who are on the blindness spectrum and the founder of the National Coalition of Latinx with Disabilities. Dark hair, Dr. Hernandez. Hello and hola. The Spanish Language Media Award honors companies producing high quality audio description in Spanish for the US market. For decades, this year's recipient has been designing and distributing Spanish language campaigns to educate and entertain children. Recent efforts to create audio description and ASL make much loved characters and stories even more accessible. The company's audio described content is available on YouTube, spreading the benefits to children all over the globe. I even grew up watching the content myself. Congratulations, Plaza Sesamo. AD Berry Awards, Spanish USA, Denise Planis, Senior Producer, Sesame Workshop. On behalf of Sesame Workshop and Plaza Sesamo, I am deeply honored to accept this award for the American Council of the Blind. With sign interpreters. At Sesame Workshop, we believe that our content should be accessible to all. Sentir como galleta rota. Creo que estaba sintiendo tristeza. Todos tenemos emociones, a veces dulces y a veces un poco duras, como las galletas. ¡Ay, ay! ¿Cómo te sientes? Oh, hoy sentir que tener galleta torada en panza. Yo estar nervioso porque perder mi galleta. Pero dime, ¿cómo crees que te vas a... This recognition means so much to us as it reaffirms our commitment to creating inclusive content to all. Y las aves. Pero aquí conmigo estás seguro, Big Bird. Lo sé, Granny Bird. Y aunque estés en un lugar distinto, podemos hacer muchas de las cosas que te encantan. ¿Cómo qué? Bueno, podemos jugar. Pero no tengo mis juguetes. No te preocupes. Podemos jugar con nuestra imaginación. Dos. ¡Elmo! We are inspired to continue this vital work. Sentir bien, Elmo. Elmo se siente bien cuando su mamá o su papá le dan un gran abrazo. O como cuando un amigo le dice a Elmo, ¡Eres genial! <laughs> y ya no se siente bien cuando hace sentir bien a los demás. And thank you so much for this incredible honor and for helping us continue our mission to help kids grow smarter, stronger, and kinder. Katarina Rivera. Hola, soy Katarina Rivera, la fundadora. Hello, I'm Katarina Rivera, the founder of Blindish Latina. The American Council of the Blind and the Audio Description Project are committed to inclusion. We are delighted to broadcast the Audio Description Awards Gala in English and Spanish. Many thanks to DCAPTA for providing the Spanish dubbing and audio description. According to the ADP website, which lists all movies and series with audio description, there are nearly 2,000 titles available with AD in Spanish. The ADP continues to advocate for higher quality audio description in various languages so that no one is left out. As a deafblind woman, I am passionate about accessibility. I work as a public speaker, consultant, and content creator on disability issues. I know how it feels to be excluded due to inaccessibility. It feels like no one is thinking of you. That's why I fight so hard today for a more inclusive and accessible world for everyone. Thank you, and let's keep moving forward. Presenting the Barry Award for International Audio Description is Barry Hill. Barry is an accessibility tester at an award-winning media company in the UK. He's an avid user of audio description himself, and he does whatever he can to make media more accessible. A middle-aged man with a mustache and goatee. This award recognizes excellence in audio description outside the US market. The winner this year not only provides excellent audio description that I, as a blind viewer, very much appreciate, but they also have extended audio description available online that helps me get immersed in a program like never before. This extended audio description describes things like clothing or scenery that I know the 
visually impaired community appreciate so much. So congratulations to Sky UK for an award well deserved. Here to accept the award is Margaret Lazenby. Thank you, Margaret. A.D. Berry Award International, a dark-haired woman from Sky UK. It gives me great pleasure to accept the ACB Award for audio description on behalf of Comcast, Sky, the Access Services and Localisation team who work exceptionally hard to produce the best content for our viewers. This award has really uplifted the team. Uh, receiving this recognition, it, it's absolutely great. Thank you, ACB. I'm honoured to accept this award. This is absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. People's Choice Awards nominee clip series Star Wars The Bad Batch, produced by Disney, AD by Descriptive Video Works, AD written by Michael Bradford, voice talent, Jamie Treacher. The hangar doors open and the shuttle backs out. Wings sweeping down, it rotates and arcs out of the landing bay. Clearing the station, Hunter flies the shuttle past several destroyers and onto the tail of the science vessel. Echo hurries into a storage room and inserts his scomp link into a console. In the cockpit. Sir, picking up unscheduled droid activity in the cargo hold. Get eyes on it. On Hunter's console, the science vessel is outlined in red. What are you waiting for? The proximity sensors haven't been deactivated yet. This isn't going to work. The proximity sensors will detect us and shoot us down. Relax. Echoes on it. People's Choice Awards nominee clip, film Society of the Snow, produced by Netflix, AD by Descriptive Video Works, AD written by David Chan, voice talent, Paula Hoffman. Numa peers through the open cockpit door and spots snowy rocks through the windshield. Luggage tumbles from the overhead compartments. Emerging from the cloud cover, the plane speeds amid steep mountainsides. Numa closes his eyes. Passenger breathes heavily. Numa gapes as the plane passes close to a mountain. He shuts his eyes from a brilliant light. The plane's undercarriage slams into a ridge, breaking it in half. A passenger is sucked out. Cast on! Furious wind whips through the cabin. The front of the plane hits the ground and slides down a snowy slope. Snow and debris whips around the passengers. The last very award of the evening is for Total Access. With a decades long career, an Academy Award, two primetime Emmys and two Golden Globes, this next presenter knows quite a lot about movies. To announce the Barry Award for Total Access, we are honored to welcome the star of CBS's highly buzzed about new drama, Matlock, Kathy Bates. Gray haired, dressed in black. Even though there is more audio description available now than ever before, most blind moviegoers have personal stories about theaters that don't have the equipment to deliver it. That never happens at the theater we're recognizing with the Barry Award for Total Access, the Prospector Theater in Ridgefield, Connecticut only shows movies that have captions and audio description. They make sure all the assistive technology is ready when needed, and they provide meaningful and well-paid jobs for people with disabilities. When we say total access, we mean total access. Congratulations to everyone at the Prospector Theater. A.D. Barry Award Total Access, a colonial style red brick building, then a montage of staff members. We are the Prospector a nonprofit with the mission of creating competitive and inclusive employment for people with disabilities. We employ over 120 prospects, the name of each and every one of us that works here, and 75% of us self-identify with a disability. We've sold over 900,000 tickets, worked over 1 million hours of meaningful employment, and have paid close to $26.5 million in payroll. 
To learn more, visit prospectortheater.org. A red-haired woman with four prospects. Yay! Thank you so much, American Council of the Blind, for this Total Access Award. My name is Valerie Jensen. I'm the founder and visionary of the Prospector Theater in Ridgefield, Connecticut. When we opened this theater 10 years ago, this was our vision to have accessible and accommodating movie going for all. We are thrilled to have this award, and I can commit to you that we're going to continue advocating for great audio description in movies. Staff members wave and shake their hands. Ooh, yay! People's Choice Award Series. Barely the wait is over. I've been holding my breath. No, no, no. Breeze, breathe, Allie. There you go. Breathing is very important. Okay. Okay, but we're about to announce the winner of the People's Choice Award yes, yes. Series. And here to help us is author, AD producer, performer, and founder of the ADNA.org, Roy Samuelson. Thank you. Roy here, seated in my booth, wearing a suit jacket. I've got a slight tan and saltier than peppery scruffy beard. Now that you've had a little taste of all five Audio Description People's Choice Award nominees in the series category, it's time to announce the winner. And as founder of the ADNA.org, we love to name names. So for this award, we're giving credit to the AD writer and performer. The nominees are All the Light We Cannot See, AD written by Liz Gutman, performed by Fern Lollum, a Real Bug's Life, A.D. written by Jeff Heck, performed by Clement Chow. Percy Jackson and the Olympians, A.D. written by Luke Baldwin, performed by Kelly Brennan. The Regime, A.D. written by both Connor DeWolf and Shane Weathers, performed by Dave Wallace. Star Wars, The Bad Batch, A.D. written by Michael Bradford, A.D. performed by Jamie Treacher. The votes have been counted, and the winner is All the Light We Cannot See, A.D. written by Liz Gutman, A.D. performed by Fern Lollum. Congratulations. Outside, Werner descends the steps from the wall. He passes wounded soldiers as he races toward Etienne's house. In the attic, Marie grabs the gun and aims at the doorway. Von Rumpel climbs the steps on the other side. Hello. I'm Christina Tiliancy from Netflix. I'm a white woman with short hair and glasses. I want to extend my deepest gratitude to the American Council of the Blind and everyone celebrating this evening. On behalf of my colleagues, thank you for this recognition. Creating the audio description for All the Light We Cannot See was an incredible journey, and it truly reflects our commitment to ensuring that everyone, regardless of ability, can enjoy our stories. This work wouldn't have been possible without the dedication of our outstanding partners. IDC, thank you for your collaboration and expertise in bringing these descriptions to life with such care and precision. We're especially proud of the English audio introduction that captures the essence of the show for our blind and low vision audience members. Having Aria Mia Liberti review and narrate it was truly special. This project was a labor of love and I'd like to personally thank Treasure Gatewood, whom I worked closely at Netflix, and Elisa Bonero, a driving force in making shows and films more accessible. A big thank you as well to Liz Gutman and Eric Wickstrom at IDC who worked tirelessly to ensure the best possible experience for our members. At Netflix, we believe that partnerships like these are key to making our shows and films accessible to all, and we're excited to continue this important work together. Thank you again to the American Council of the Blind for this incredible honor. Hi, my name is Liz Gutman, and I'm the head audio description writer at International Digital Center. I'm a white woman with brown hair and glasses. I had the privilege of writing the audio description for All the Light We Cannot See, an adaptation of a book I deeply love. Our department is so humbled to have received a People's Choice Award for two years in a row. Woohoo! There are so many people to thank. Firstly, our department head Eric Wickstrom, who always listens to my ideas, even when they make his job more complicated, and our CEO, Marcy Gilbert, for placing so much trust in us. Thank you to Netflix for always championing inclusion in AD and to Elisa Benyero and Christina Teeley in particular. I am so grateful to Stephen Christopher who did many painstaking passes of sighted QC, 
Our mixer, Paul Levin, absolutely aced this track. Joe Strecce gave invaluable feedback on the AD script. Haben Gurma made sure that our descriptive transcript was perfect. And the brilliant Aria Mia Liberti gave us sterling script notes and also narrated our audio introduction for the series, the first ever commissioned by a streaming service. And finally, the ridiculously talented Fern Loam, our narrator, makes this AD track sing. This award belongs to all of us, and the fact that it was bestowed by the ACB and audience members around the world is so meaningful to us. It's you who we do this for, it's you who we're listening to, and it's you who keep us accountable. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this huge honor. People's Choice Award Film. And the final award tonight is the Audio Description People's Choice Award in the Film category. Now to announce this award, we are going to take a little virtual trip over to the Prospector Theater. And the folks at Prospector actually provided us with some of their famous popcorn for our show tonight. Thank you so much, Prospector. Popcorn! Now over to you. Six Prospector staff members. Welcome to the Prospector's Theater, one of the most accessible and inclusive places on Earth. We love movies, and we hope you enjoy the clips from the audio description People's Choice nominees. And the nominees are... Barbie, June 2, Oppenheimer, Poor Things, and Society of the Snow. And the winner is June 2. Congratulations. Yes. Even up. A thumbs up. The ornithopter's gunner fires down at him, but Paul manages to dive behind the next leg. The gunner swivels back around to Chani to find her lowering her weapon, having already fired a projectile that penetrates the ornithopter's shield. The craft explodes. I'm Janet Ritz, Vice President of Accessibility for Warner Brothers Discovery. I have medium-length brown hair, hazel eyes, and I wear glasses. On behalf of Warner Brothers Discovery and my colleagues, I want to thank the American Council of the Blind and everyone who voted for this year's People's Choice Award for audio description on Dune 2. Dune 2's audio description was provided by our exceptional global content operations team, along with our partner Deluxe and the talented narrator Corey McGinn, who all worked together to bring audio description to this iconic film. We're proud of their efforts and the result. On behalf of my colleagues and our partners, we want to thank the American Council of the Blind and everyone who voted for this year's People's Choice Award for Dune 2. Corey McGinn, Warner Brothers Entertainment. I'm thrilled to accept this award on behalf of Warner Brothers Discovery. This very heavy, beautiful glass etched award from the American Council of the Blind. Making sure everyone can enjoy our stories is something we truly believe in. And Dune 2 being recognized for its audio description just shows we're on the right track. Thank you to the Dune 2 team who provided the beautiful visuals for the amazing accessibility team at Deluxe to describe. This recognition is not just an award, it's a powerful affirmation of the impact we can create when we prioritize inclusivity. Thank you for believing in the art of accessible storytelling. We promise to keep making sure everyone can follow our story. Anna Capazera, Deluxe. It's an honor to accept this award on behalf of the Deluxe AD team. We're so grateful for your vote and just really happy that you enjoyed our AD because that's ultimately our goal. Thank you to the American Council of the Blind and the Audio Description Project, and of course, Warner Brothers, for giving us such great content to describe in the first place. I want to give a shout out to the Dune 2 crew, Anusha Vedagiri, William Michael Redman, Laura Post, Julian Smith, Jessica Yu, Carson Scriven, Zach Tyson, David Mitchell, and James Duff. I'm getting my fingerprints all over this award, so I will put it down and just say thanks again to all of you who voted. We're so proud to just be nominated with so many great titles, and we will always strive to create AD that you love. Thank you. Congratulations to all the Audio Description Award recipients. It is a thrill to celebrate the incredible work being done to expand inclusion. The arts, media, information and education must be accessible. We applaud and celebrate this year's award recipients because they're showing us just how skillfully and artfully audio description can be done. And we also want to thank our corporate sponsors and of course our hosts here at 30 Rockefeller Center, 30 Rock. A dream. Did you know that the last three 80 galas were actually filmed here. How incredible is and that? 
I actually got to host the last two. Go, girl! Anyway, also thank you to the American Council of the Blind and the Audio Description Project for making these awards possible. But hey, the Audio Description Project can't do this work alone. We need you to fuel our advocacy. And one way you can do that is through donating. Mm -hmm. So you can actually donate right now by visiting adawardsgala.org and clicking donate. Support the Audio Description Project. Donate. I'll be doing it. Yes. So thank you for your support. And thank you for voting for the one and only Audio Description People's Choice Award. We hope that you find a ton more audio description to enjoy before the nominations open for next year. And if you need a little help finding some AD, there are 11,000 listings of movies and series. Did you know that? That's incredible. You want to know where they are? Please tell me. Okay. They are at adp.acb.org. Support the Audio Description Project. Merrily, it has been a gift hosting with you, someone who I've looked up to for a really long time. Thank you, Ellie B. That actually means a lot to me because you are doing incredible work in the sphere and also just as an artist. It's been such a pleasure. Pleasure. They shake hands. And thank you all for joining us here tonight. Until next year. Hey, wait. Bye. Bye. Dance break. Yeah. They lock arms Go. and dance off to the left. The 2024 AD Awards Gala, presented by the American Council of the Blind. With special thanks to our supporters and sponsors, ADP supporter, Sony Corporation of America. Awards Gala sponsors, Take the Lead, Amazon, Microsoft, Netflix, The Walt Disney Company, Warner Brothers, Discovery. Supporting cast, Fox Corporation, NCTA, the Internet and Television Association, Paramount Global, Spectrum, Vitac. Cameo, National Association of Broadcasters, NAB, SurveyMonkey. Hosts, Mary Lee Talkington, Ali B. Gorey. Audio Description and Voice Talent. English Audio Description Script, Audio Description Associates, LLC. Joel Snyder, PhD. English Audio Description Narrator, Steve Saylor. Spanish Audio Description Script, DeCapta, Andrea Jimenez. Spanish Audio Description Narrator, DeCapta, Jose Miguel Delizan. Spanish Language Dubbing, DeCapta. Producer, Doug Rowland. With special thanks to Gala Planning Committee, Matt Ater. John Cavanaugh, Kim Charlson, Maria Victoria Diaz, Gabriel Lopez Cafati, Tabitha Kenlin, Michael Cohn, Deborah Cook Lewis, Reese Lloyd, Maria Juliana Olarte, Carl Richardson, Doug Rowland, Lori Samuels, Joel Snyder, Dan Spoon, Mark Turrets. Gala Awards Committee, Renee Arrington Johnson, Matt Ater, Kim Charlson, Brandon Cole, Maria Victoria Diaz, Alex Howard, Tabitha Kenlin, Reese Lloyd, Tanya Milochevic, Carl Richardson, Wendy Sapp, Joel Snyder, Dan Spoon, Scott Thornhill. ACB staff and contractors, JoLynn Bailey Page, Nancy Fila, Colby Garrison, Mike Johnson, Tabitha Kenlin, Sharon Lovering, Nancy Marks Becker, Rick Morin, Anna Park, Claire Stanley, Scott Thornhill. Contributing partners and friends, Audio Description Associates, LLC, Bridge Multimedia, Comcast, NBC Universal, DeCapta, Vitac. Learn more at adp.acb.org. A production of the American Council of the Blind, Alexandria, Virginia, copyright 2024.